Good morning, everybody, and you're really welcome to our second session um, as part of the Virtual Career Series webinar, uh, Hospitality and Tourism. And we're absolutely delighted to be uh, joined by Laura Devlin, who's HR Manager from the Romantic Castles of Ireland group. Um, and there are a number of well-known uh, hotels and establishments within that group. Uh, and uh, we're delighted that Laura is joining us today. Laura, you're really, really welcome. Uh, we have Thank numbers you. of students um, online already. Just to say, um, um, anybody who's watching it on demand, uh, I'm sure Laura will provide contact details um, throughout the presentation. Um, so if you are watching on demand, make sure you watch it throughout to the, the end. Um, and if you have any questions or comments about the presentations or any sort of careers related uh, queries, I suppose, please pop them to the chat and um, I'll ask Laura uh, at the end of the presentation. So Laura, you're really, really welcome. Delighted to have you here again and delighted to have somebody with, with such a local presence as well. So I know Thank the you. students are excited to hear about your presentation. So when you're ready, take it away. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you. No Good morning, everybody. Um, and you're all uh, very welcome to the Romantic Castles of Ireland presentation. Um, I suppose just by way of introduction, a, a little bit about myself. My name is uh, Laura Devlin. I'm with the company here 18 years. Um, and I suppose as with a lot of um, people still working in hospitality, um, I have an operational background. Um, I worked my way up from junior assistant manager uh, right through to deputy general manager and diversified then into the HR management end of things as the group got bigger. So um, Romantic Castles of Ireland is um, primarily, just to explain it, give a little bit of overview, it is um, most importantly a family owned and run um, company. It is owned and run by the Corscadden family. Um, it began with the purchase of Castle in 1991. So this year we are, are celebrating our 30 year anniversary. Um, and the directors uh, here at Castle, I suppose, would be Howard and Adam Corscadden. From the success of Castle, then we purchased another three castles uh, throughout the, uh, the country. So Ballyseedy Castle, which is located in Tralee in County Kerry. Bellingham Castle, which I'm sure you're all fairly familiar with over there in Castle Bellingham, County Louth. And lastly, then we uh, purchased Marquee Castle, which is located in Colooney in Sligo in 2007. So we actually have a castle property in every province in Ireland, mm -hmm. uh, which I suppose for one family um, is a massive achievement. And it is down to uh, purely down to hard work and dedication on their part and a lot of investment and time. Um, which I suppose is the foundation of a hospitality um, background. You need to have a huge amount of dedication, commitment and um, an ambition if you want to go places uh, throughout uh, hospitality. Um, so I'm just going to give a little overview of each of, of the hotels uh, that we own. So I'll start off here with uh, Cabra Castle Hotel, which is based in Kings Court in County Cavan. Um, Cabra Castle, as you can see from uh, the picture here, is quite an expansive um, property. It is the largest of the four properties. Um, we are set on 100 acres of grounds and there's been a huge amount of investment over the past two to three years in the exterior of the property. So it is it is quite impressive. And a lot of the photos that you will see online um, are, are very impressive indeed. Um, so a little bit about it, as I mentioned already, we are celebrating our 30th um, anniversary of ownership under the Corscadden families. It is the largest of the properties. It's a 105 bedroom, four star castle hotels, uh, castle hotel, pardon me. Um, of the 105 bedrooms, there's only 20 in the main building. We have 61 in the courtyard, 27 in the newly, well, newly built cottages. When I say newly built, they're 10 years old. And then we have the gate lodge at the end of the avenue. So quite a variety of bedrooms. And what makes them unique is that the family have individually decorated each and every bedroom. So there's no two bedrooms the same. So it kind of adds the experience for our guests. And um, we currently employ in excess of 200 uh, staff. So it is quite a large local employer. And um, we have staff with us here some 30 years. And then, of course, hospitality, given COVID in the recent times, we have a huge amount of recent um, new recruits. Uh, so we've maybe 80 to 100 new recruits in the last two and a half, three months. So a lot of training ongoing, which we're very committed to doing. And thankfully, we're blessed with absolutely wonderful staff. And each and every one of them are very dedicated and we're very thankful to them. 
Here in Capricasa, we're open all year with the exception of Christmas Day and Stevens' Day. As a family owned and run property, very important for the family to have their Christmas off as well. And I suppose that makes us a little bit uh, special as a group because we are family owned. We, we appreciate that people, um, they live to work, they don't, uh, Sorry, they work to live I should say and not live to work the other way around so the family are very have a lot of empathy towards the staff and they understand that people have lives outside of work and, and they are very um, appreciative of that and, and very flexible uh, towards a lot of the staff. Our main market range here in Cabra Castle would be I suppose the wedding market our 80 to 85 percent of our business is weddings and um, Recently, I suppose the tour group market has uh, returned to Ireland. A lot of American and overseas um, groups are coming back in. So we would have maybe eight or nine American tour groups uh, per week. Um, COVID aside, at the moment, we're kind of two or three, which is, is great. Um, it's a nice business to have. And um, it makes every day interesting because the faces are changing. It's not just weddings. So you have a lot of the overseas market coming in who are really appreciative of the castle style venue. Aside from that, then we would have, like any other hotel, have our private overnight guests, our local market, again, which we're very appreciative to for our food and beverage and functions and christenings, communions and that type of business. So that's kind of a little overview of Cabra Castle Hotel. Recruitment is ongoing here. And um, so we would hope at the end of this, maybe that if anybody is interested in a career in hospitality or just wants a little bit of experience to go alongside the course that you're doing, maybe weekend work, or if you have a day during the week that you're you're not um, in, in lectures that you might like to have come and get a little bit of on-site experience with us. Uh, so I'll give you my email address at the end of the presentation that you can send any uh, CVs to. From Cabra Castle Hotel, the success uh, was massive, I suppose. Uh, we would do up at about 200 weddings per year. So we were able to purchase Bally CD Castle uh, down in Tralee in Kent Kerry. Um, it's a little bit of a smaller property. Um, again, quite impressive. A little bit uh, older, I suppose. You're dating back to the 15th uh, century. So you can kind of see that from the facade of the building. It's, it's a lot more uh, Gothic, I suppose, in style. And it's set on 30 acres of grounds. Again, it's a full service uh, four star castle hotel with 42 bedrooms. It is quite seasonal being down in Tralee in County Kerry. So you would be talking kind of um, March, December would be the main market. Um, we do close in Bally City January and February. Um, but aside from that, the, the market would be quite similar to that in Cabra, being weddings, tour groups, weekend breaks, and the local market. Food, beverage and accommodation is what we do. And they also have their fine dining restaurant. So they are renowned for their local food. Um, we had um, Nevin Maguire actually just shooting one of his series down there in Bally CD recently. So you'll see kind of links to that online, Facebook and so on. Uh, very interesting. Um, and they were focusing primarily, I suppose, being down in the southern um, part uh, seafood would be a massive part of the menu down there. So um, a, a lovely experience if ever anyone gets a chance to look at it, it's highly recommended. And in Bally CD, we currently employ approximately 60 staff, uh, slightly smaller scale than Cabra Castle. After that, then we purchased Bellingham Castle, which I'm sure you're all familiar with in Castle Bellingham County Louth. It's set on 19 acres on the banks of the River Glide. The setting is absolutely stunning. Um, it's a 19 bedroom property. It's an exclusive use property, primarily for weddings, private conferences and events. We've had quite a few celebrity um, functions and so on there. Um, the, as I said, there are 19 bedrooms. They're currently um, building um, apartments on site kind of to expand on the accommodation side of things. And um, there's a little bit of seasonality with regard to weddings, um, I suppose. A lot of people might want um, a wedding maybe January or February, but it is open all year and just again close Christmas Day on the 26th um, of December. Um, it has been a location for a lot of promotional videos as well um, and for the likes of um, Don't Tell the Bride and, and things like that as well. There's been kind of, kind of a lot of uh, media coverage with Bellingham Castle. And again, they currently employ about 50 staff over there beautiful venue and um, quite exclusive um, and, and a little bit more upmarket, I suppose, than some of our venues. And lastly, but not least then, uh, we purchased Marcree Castle in Colony in Sligo. 
Um, Marcri then is a 17th century castle. It operates both exclusively and as a full service hotel. Um, so if there is a wedding or any sort of a, an exclusive function there, it's closed down to the public. Um, and then when there isn't anything on site, then it will operate as a full service hotel. So it's a little bit of a mix of both. Um, which makes life interesting for everybody who works there. I suppose it's a, a kind of diverse market. Um, there's 31 bedrooms there, a little bit of seasonality again in Sligo, but it is open all year again, with the exception of Christmas. Um, and very like uh, Bellingham Castle, it has been used for a lot of promotional videos. Uh, we have Mary Black and, and so on, and um, doing some of their music videos and so on there as well. And again, it employs approximately 60 staff. Uh, we are very, very lucky with the staff that we have throughout the group, very loyal staff. And once staff start, they tend not to want to leave. Um, and if they do leave, thinking that the grass is greener on the other side, they tend to come back, which is a, is a great testament to the hotel group in itself. Um, everybody loves working here. Uh, of course, we all have our good and our bad days, but um, for the for the most part, everything is lovely and everybody gets on so, so well, which makes my life as a HR manager very, very simple indeed, which is um, very much appreciated um, throughout. Collectively, the four hotels then are known and combined as Romantic Castles of Ireland. And it makes them the largest independently owned group of hotels in the country, which, as I mentioned, for one family is a massive achievement. They did come from a hotel background um, from the O'Hearns down in, in Killarney, and they owned also um, the, um, the Derby Hotel in Kildare was where they, they hailed from, I suppose. Um, but Cabra Castle was, their, is, was their, their dream and their flagship hotel. And from that, then, the Romantic Castles of Ireland were born. Um, and as I say, as, as a person who has worked here for 18 years, I can honestly say it is a very enjoyable experience. And I, I have learned so much and I couldn't recommend it highly enough, not just because I work here. I'm not being paid to say this, I promise. Um, we are also a member of Original Irish Hotels. I'm not sure if anybody is familiar with them as a group. Um, it was previously known as Manor House Hotels. It was rebranded maybe about three years ago. Um, so Original Irish Hotels is a group of maybe 60 similar style owner run properties throughout Ireland of four star market and upwards. Um, so for want of a better way of explanation, it's a central reservations group. So guests can book directly through um, Original Irish Hotels or they can book directly with each of the, the properties. Um, as a group, then Original Irish Hotels is internationally recognised. So over in the States and so on, um, there's a little bit of... Um, I, I suppose, um, accreditation to the brand Original Irish Hotels. As staff members who work here, if you put, I worked in Cabra Castle Hotel, a member of Original Irish Hotels, it means that you're trained to a certain standard. Um, we are, uh, we have an annual inspection every year to make sure that we um, implement all the standards. You have to have certain things in place to remain a member of Original Irish Hotels. And um, so it gives you a little bit of, of a boost on your CV, I suppose, if you work in any of the Original Irish Hotel group. And um, there's for going on J1s, perhaps, or something if you plan on traveling, it makes you that little bit more employable um, going forward if you choose to work in any of the Original Irish Hotels. Um, and I suppose most importantly, what more people are interested in, you can also get staff discounts throughout the group as well. So um, whereas a normal hotel rate for a night's bed and breakfast might be 200, 250 euros per night, you can put requests in and you might get a, a hotelier rate of 80 to 100 euros um, per night for two people sharing. So it is quite a nice little perk of the job if you plan on going midweek breaks and so on. So it, it's a nice little uh, way. There's always little perks to every uh, aspect of hospitality, but, but that's one of the nicer ones. Um, with us. And of course, in Romantic Castles of Ireland, there are discounts throughout the group as well. Okay. Now, um, so just to talk about then the Romantic Castles of Ireland team, as I mentioned then, throughout the group, we have about 400 staff. Um, we have up to 20 nationalities of, of staff employed right throughout the group, 14 in Cabra Castle alone. Predominantly, our staff would be Irish or European, but we do have some work permit holders from Asia and African nations. And I suppose um, we're reliant more and more now on work permits, uh, from, particularly from the Asian market, because certain, um, certain professions are quite hard to come by in Ireland, the likes of chefs and so on. Um, so we would um, work with an agency uh, quite 
quite frequently in Sri Lanka. So we we actually have four Sri Lankans in the in the group at the moment, and we're just applying now for seven more uh, work permits, and hopefully we'd have seven more uh, Sri Lankan um, chefs with us in early in the new year. Um, again. That's another aspect of my job that I, I do. So if anyone's thinking of a HR end of things, you learn quite a bit by going through um, a lot of these processes. So it makes the job a little bit more interesting. And it's not just a mundane, same old every day of the week. And then the renewal process is there as well. There are great promotional um, opportunities throughout the group. I mentioned myself as a case study, I started straight from college i suppose i had worked in dublin in the davenport for a year and a half before i started here um, i started as the junior assistant manager went to duty manager went to senior assistant manager um then to deputy general manager working alongside the director of the hotel who is um actively the general manager um i worked as deputy general manager for about 10 years and i suppose it is important to say that um, I didn't go looking for any of the promotions and um, they recognize here hard work and dedication and loyalty and that is very much rewarded throughout the group and um, as the the group expanded here in Romantic Castles of Ireland there was more of a need for a formalized HR function which is what I did as part of my operational role as well I did a lot of the HR so I was offered the position um, as um, the HR manager for the group of hotels. So yes, I am based in Cabra Castle, but I am also in Marquee, in Bellingham Castle, and in Ballyseed. I also have a lot of the health and safety uh, function here. So my job is quite diversified, and I do a lot of the training for fire wardens, health and safety, uh, manual handling instruction, and so on as well. So again, huge amount of diversification opportunities throughout the group. Um, our current deputy general manager started off as porter um, and he's with the group now 13 years and uh, his name is Johnny Tevlin. So as a porter, he went to senior waiter, he went to junior duty manager and so on. And he's worked his way up and he's now deputy general manager. He took over from me two years ago and um, I have to say wonderful guy and he's doing great things here. Um, our chefs, even in the kitchens, they start as chef de parties and they're with us so long. Our head chef is here 30 years. Um, and, you know, uh, our second chef, Chris, he actually is a former student of DKI, DKIT. Uh, he started with us on his placement um, 17 years ago um, and is with us ever since. He started as a commie chef and has worked his way up. And he's now, uh, Claire would be our executive head chef and Chris is head chef here for Caver Castle. So um, we really do a reward um, hard work, dedication, loyalty. And if you if you prove uh, yourself, um, uh, worthy of promotion we'll offer it we don't wait for you to come asking we do absolutely reward good and hard work so just as I mentioned there are a lot of long-term employment here we've about 60 to 70 full-time staff many of whom are with us over 20 years um, and have come through um, internships we have recently developed a management program as well and we actively encourage internships throughout the hotel as well um, you can start working in Cabra Castle, but you might decide that actually, do you know, I'd like to experience a little bit of down south and we can transfer you down to work in Bally CD Hotel or across to the west uh, over to Marquee Castle. So that's quite important, I think, to just vary it up a little bit and get um, a different experience from an exclusive use property to a full scale hotel because they think they're kilt over in Bellingham, but they don't know what their what hard work is <laughs> uh, here at Capra Castle uh, is where a little bit of more harder work is. So we're, we're always having that little bit of banter with them. They don't know what hard work is at all over there. So it's, it's always a little bit about fun and having fun at work as well. So just to speak a little bit about the internships that we offer here in Capra Castle or th throughout the group. So obviously it's departmentally based. So anyone maybe doing a culinary arts um degree um or diploma you could obviously have um, an internship in our kitchen we would prefer i suppose that anyone um internships in the kitchen would be a minimum of 13 weeks um, we actually are currently we had just finished we had an intern um working with us uh, over the summer months and she was absolutely wonderful and she's now working with us part-time so there is um opportunities then to stay with the group afterwards and she's been quite happy she's actually a godsend in her restaurant she's absolutely amazing uh, the standard uh, has been wonderful that has come from gkit so we'd have absolutely no hesitation in inviting interns because we are uh, fully aware of the standard of um of education that you're receiving there 
we would also have um, anyone doing um, maybe bar management or doing certificates and waiting or anything like that. We would have banqueting and events. We have six bars and restaurants here as well. Um, so we would, uh, can, we can do um, block internships or I know that some of the um, internships would be maybe a day per week over a number of weeks. So we, we were quite open to working with DKIT on that front. Um, anyone who maybe would prefer um, to work in accommodation, some people prefer to work behind the scenes um, and have less um, interaction with the public, and that's absolutely fine. So we would offer accommodation interns as well in the supervisory level, working alongside um, Michelle, our accommodation manager, who's actually here 23 years as well. Uh, came directly from college to on an internship and uh, we didn't let her go. So <laughs> it's great. Um, anyone doing then maybe hospitality management, um, there's great um, opportunities to work alongside our management team here. So not only Johnny, who I've already mentioned, but Paul Fair, our conference and banquet manager. We have Emma Gorman here as our wedding and events um, manager. And then we have duty managers, Mary Clark um, and Rose Garvey Malone as well. So um, they're absolutely brilliant as mentors uh, to take you alongside you shadow them for a while. Um, and I do say as, as management internships here, you get a lot of responsibility. You'll meet with the couples. Once we're confident that you know what you're doing, we'll tell you how to do everything. We do a great induction with you, but we do give you the responsibility to kind of meet with the couples, to show them around, um, to work directly with them with, with little, or, little supervision. Of course, we're always there, but once we're happy with, um, you know that we've worked with you for a little while and we're happy that you're confident in what you're doing we will allow you the freedom and um, to kind of meet with the couples do the sales aspect so go through the deposits take the function details so we do actually encourage that because we feel that you learn a lot more by doing as opposed to just kind of standing back it's kind of very much hands-on and hospitality is a, is, is very much um, a hands-on role um, for the management internships or those on reception, we would prefer a six month placement. There is a lot to learn and a lot to take in. Um, so if possible, and anyone's looking maybe from February to August or something like that, we'd, we'd absolutely actively encourage it. Um, and um, it's, it's a great opportunity. And then once you return to college, if you'd like to come back and work with us over weekends and so on, and we feel that you've worked well, we will absolutely employ you and um, take you back on. With reception, we use um, a room system called Room Master. It's a relatively new system to the market. Uh, we've, I know, Hotsoft and Opera are kind of in a lot of, um, a lot of um, hospitality settings, but Room Master is very similar, I suppose. Um, but again, there's a huge amount to learn on reception. With us here as a family-owned and run property, we are automating a lot of our. Um, we were very manual for a long time, I, I suppose, but we're putting a lot of new systems in place um, over the last 12 months and there's more ongoing. So there is a six month um, placement requirement there as well, because there's a huge amount of, of work to take in. And really, it does take three to four months to feel confident in what you're doing um, and, and know um, know how to interact and what's expected, I suppose. So just, again, very open to working with you on that as well. Again, I'll give full details on how to apply for those at the end of the, the presentation. Um, for graduates then, um, it's always lovely for us to see somebody with um, a background in hospitality who has an interest, I suppose, once you have a little bit of education behind you, it shows that you have an interest in, in the industry. And that's that's a massive part um, of um, what we want to see coming in, I suppose experienced trained people are very very hard to come by now in Ireland so you're like gold dust if nobody has told you that before you're like gold dust and you'll be snapped up you'll have no uh, problem getting getting a job absolutely but it's important that you make sure that you have the right setting for you and that you get the experience that you're looking for um and and that's so in an interview setting make sure that you elaborate that you tell like this is really what I want you know that I'm hoping I don't have experience here that I would prefer to get it there and the right venue will work with you to make sure that you have a rounded experience as a graduate coming out of college 
Um, as a culinary arts graduate, we would tend to start you off as chef de party or junior chef de party, working alongside our sous chefs who will train you accordingly and just hone in on your nice skills and your technical skin, skills to make sure and then move you around the different departments as well so that you have more of a rounded and uh, not just kind of stuck to starters or main course. It, I suppose pastry chef uh, sometimes will be a little bit harder to come by. So you will move around the different departments with us here to get a little bit of a more rounded experience with us and then you can decide well actually my forte is working with mains or kind of the finer details you know so that's it's important for you as a graduate to know where you fit in best and what you prefer to do um, we have recently introduced a management program here in Cabra Castle as well it's something that we're working on and um, it's a two-year program that graduates can partake on or partake of, or people that might not necessarily want to go to college, um, they might feel that the they're not great in a college setting, or you know that exams don't always suit them, and you mightn't do wonderfully well in exams, but you do love hospitality, and a lot of hospitality is very much hands on. So this program is tailored to kind of um, give a, a rounded management experience. It's a two year program where we would focus um, maybe a six to nine month administrative. Um, setting where you'll work around uh, reception and maybe have a little bit of experience with our purchasing manager and behind the scenes and stock and things like that we would have a 12 month uh, placement in our food and beverage and um, setting so i suppose between the bars between the restaurants and then go to supervisory and management there's very little point in coming straight from college without having a practical knowledge of food and beverage you can't manage a department unless you have practical experience in it so what i would say to anybody that is doing a hospitality um degree a hospitality management degree is please try and get some practical experience working in retail is absolutely no good if you are um uh trying to, to get a career in hospitality because you can't walk straight out of college with a hospitality degree walk into a, a restaurant and try to be the restaurant manager manager when you have no actual practical experience so at the weekends try to get your restaurant your bar experience so that you know what you're you're talking about and you know what you're doing when you come into a, um, a setting it makes you a huge much more employable if you have that little bit of practical experience um, I used to, when I was in college I know there was girls and guys that were working in retail and in shops because it was convenient and I absolutely get that you need a little bit of pocket money when you're in school and in college but you should really try to get the practical experience um, in hospitality. Um, as a graduate of hospitality management, we would hope that when you come to us, you can start off as a junior assistant manager or trainee department supervisor. Um, you know, so you'll work alongside the team. And as I said, you will shadow for a little while. But once we're confident that you know what you're doing, we will roster you as part of the management team and and that is a great thing we're always there we're always there to answer questions and to mentor you accordingly and as i've already said there are great opportunities for career uh, progression here and um, when you do graduate and whatever setting you do go into make sure to ask questions don't pretend that you know don't bluff um ask 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 we'd rather you ask a million times and get the right answer and do it right and know what you're talking about than bluff because you'll always be caught out at the end of the day and it's harder then to to rewind the clock and reset things at least if we know going forward that you're you actually know what you're doing and if you feel that you need a little bit more training here there or anywhere we'd actually we'd much rather that you're honest with us you know if you're finding anything a little bit more difficult okay um so the hospitality industry in general so personally i have found in my career here that my career has been very diversified as i've already gone into there are a massive amount of highs in hospitality you have human interaction um, you're dealing with so many different people all the time and it's very very varied you really when you're coming into work any day you don't know what you're what you're in for really um, so you meet some great characters and you make some great friends along the way the hospitality environment will give you a, a great potential to travel. It means that if you're going overseas and once you've graduated, a lot of people will take a year or two out to kind of travel, see the world. You're massively employable. If you've got waiting experience, bar experience, even HR experience or admin and reception, you can get a job anywhere. You can travel the world and get a great amount of cultural experience by traveling with a hospitality degree. 
um, there's a huge sense of fulfillment when things go right. Um, I know when I was operational, I used to love meeting a wedding couple. I would meet them on arrival when they came in. I would be there from their initial sale, the show around, going through the deposits, going through the details of the wedding. And you genuinely get excited about their actual wedding day and seeing them all glammed up on the day. And to, to kind of see it come from the initial sta sale stage to see them actually married and everything on the day going well for them and everybody enjoying themselves. You do actually get a massive sense of fulfillment from working in hospitality. Um, of course, there are networking opportunities and you meet a huge amount of uh, interesting people. Um, and you do get a universal experience. I mean, from people coming from the States. Um, if you have any sort of language, I would say to try and, and hone it in. Uh, I did a French and German while I was in college, but unfortunately I wasn't the best student uh, when it came to languages. But if you are anyway um, serious about traveling, try and hone in on that um, those kind of language skills because they do prove very useful, particularly when you've guests checking in, if you're able to converse in their own language. Um, although I, I have to say most overseas people coming to Ireland are fantastic at English, but it is nice to be able to say hello, goodbye, thank you in another language as well. Just the basics even, it makes them feel that little bit more appreciated. Right. Laura, I'm just conscious of sorry of time. I know okay. we're just slightly over, um, and I have a number of questions here for okay. you. Um, <laughs> so we maybe won't go to the lows. The lows, that's because fine. Because there doesn't seem to be any lows at all. Um, but this okay. is a really important slide, I know. Okay, so what yeah. I'm going to say to students is make sure they screenshot this so they have yeah. an awareness of what personal attributes you're you're really keen to see on cvs and application forms Absolutely. and that sort of thing um so and this will be available on demand as well um so um and don't lastly worry. i'll just put that oh, slide show up as well really important <laughs> obviously yeah yeah no, no brilliant it was a it was a great presentation i have to say um mm -hmm. and um I'm going to defend Bellingham. I think I was there as a guest two weeks ago. <laughs> They're fantastic. I they are fantastic. Brilliant, brilliant experience. <laughs> That's just um, a bit we, of banter between the groups. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, we have a lot of messages coming in from, from DKIT uh, academic staff and um, people, placements uh, officers as well, just saying what a brilliant relationship they have with, with you guys and um, how supportive you are of all DKIT students. Uh, you know, from an, a placement perspective as well as uh, an intern uh, perspective as well. So a massive thank you for that. There are some questions coming in. I'll fly through them. Okay. Um, are there any opportunities to do work placement in HR? Um, not so much at the moment. I'm not okay. saying never, but at the moment, I suppose we're, we're introducing a new sim, uh, system in place um, in the new year called by Simply. So maybe when that's up and running, perhaps for next perhaps. year. You know, maybe not for this academic year, but perhaps for the following year. Brilliant. Um, Janet has a question here. Uh, thank you, Laura, for a great overview. Um, I'm here with a group of students who go on workplace in March to September 2022. Uh, if somebody wants to go to Sligo or Kerry, is student accommodation offered as part of the package? Um, we would assist with student accommodation. So we don't have a huge amount of accommodation on site. We do have home farm yeah. apartments um, beside Bellingham. So if there is availability there, absolutely. But if not, Nicholas will uh, gladly help any students find local accommodation. Brilliant. And, and as you said, mm -hmm. and you've demonstrated throughout the presentation that, I mean, people remain extremely loyal to mm -hmm. the organization i think that's really the key selling point you know and mm -hmm. um, final one there thank you laura great insight into your properties and opportunities for students from from karen coming so um everybody really really impressed laura sorry i had to uh Not at all. sorry I, I no, no you're fine it happens <laughs> yeah i know i appreciate it but listen a massive thank you again laura for for coming on this morning and uh, really really appreciate it it's on demand so students can go back and look at those personal attributes which are really really important yeah. and the the details there are for your applications and i'm sure students will be in touch very very soon great i look forward to hearing from them brilliant laura thanks a million All right. thanks everybody bye-bye now take care bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye.